A, it says three liters to centiliters. Okay, let's have a look. Liters to centiliters is from here to here, large to small. So we're going to be multiplying by 100. So three times 100, which is simply 300 centiliters. Uh, liters to centiliters again. Again, we'll multiply by 100 like that, which will be four centiliters. Okay, the calculation hopefully I really don't have to worry about. You guys can do that on your own. But you gotta get the idea, don't you? I think after a few questions, you're gonna get used to this. Okay, I got my diagram again, ready. So you should be very used to this diagram now. Okay, milliliters to centiliters. Milliliters, centiliters, small to large, divide by 10. Okay, which is simply 0.1 centiliters, easy stuff. Uh, 200 milliliters to centiliters, again, divide 200 by 10, which will get you 20 centiliters. Now, there's my diagram. Megaliters to centiliters. So from large to small, we multiply by a thousand, thousand, and then a hundred. So it's like this, a thousand, thousand, then a hundred. So we're going back by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight decimal places to the backwards, to the left. So, oh, sorry, to the right, because we're multiplying, sorry. So it's gonna look like this, so many zeros, but again, we wanna put it in scientific notation. Put the decimal there guys and count how many we go to the right, which will be eight places. So 4.1 times 10 to the power of eight. You should be very used to this now. So I'm gonna go a little bit more quicker. So guys, with the next few questions, I want you to try to like pause, try it yourself, and then check your answer with mine, okay? Just to make sure you're good at this. Okay, the same thing. Multiply by a thousand, thousand, then a hundred. So it's gonna look like this, that many zeros. And put the decimal there, you should go to the right by seven decimal places. So 10 to the power of seven. All right, again, same kind of question as my diagram. You guys, try it yourself. Try it, give it a shot, and then check the answer with me. So kiloliters to centiliters, large to small, we multiply. But we must multiply by a thousand first, and then a hundred. So divide, oh, sorry, multiply by a thousand, and then that add hundred again. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five zeros that we're going to move to the right. So it's going to have three extra zeros after five like that. And then we want to put into scientific notation. So put the decimal in front of the three and we have multiply by 10 to the power of five because we go to the right by five places. Kiloliters to centiliters. Again, same conversion, multiply by a thousand and a hundred again. So, it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four, five, so two extra zeros. Now put the decimal in front of one, you multiply by 10 to the power of three, okay? This stuff I think is very, very simple now. 